Joe, three one defeat to, to Kazzy's on the opening day and out of the, the cup, but what do you make of the game? On my honest opinion. Always pathetic. Um pathetic, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um scored a brilliant goal in the second half. We were shocking first half again. Very similar to Litchfield last week. We were lazy, we were sluggish, we were lethargic. Not just off the ball, on the ball. Didn't want to get high enough to go and create chances and, and cause them problems. They want you to be slow with tempo because that's how that's, that, that suits them and they want to head things and kick things and, and we played into it. First half especially, we didn't get ranks on the ball enough. It was overloads all over that we just weren't brave enough to try and play. And playing the safest option at all times, which was... Disappointing. Um, yeah, very, really, really annoyed Liam. To be honest, I'm really, really annoyed with that. I think that the, that was there for the taking. We, we, we've got enough to to win the game. We haven't done enough to win the game. We, we, we've done nowhere near enough. What did you put that down to? As you say, almost a, a repeat of, of Litchfield last week. But would you sort of put that down to? And how do you go about putting that right? Put it down to just boys not wanting to do it, and me having to shout through a game which I don't want to do the boys are clever, well, clever enough to, to know their roles but not knowing where to be on and off the ball which we, we, we should know and just not wanting to do it and, and, not, and not running and not working hard enough to to deal with that so yeah it's um, really disappointing and, and what, what do we do about it we we try and put it right, you know, we've only got two days to recover. Luckily now we haven't got enough time to dwell on it. We've got a game in two days' time, Dudley Town away, which will be tough, so we've got to try and put it right. And I'll try and get a team out there that will put it right. I'm positive, and you've switched on it already, Tariq, on to a decent all-round performance and, and topped off with a really good goal as well. Yeah, fantastic strike from Tariq. Um, but then got into a situation where he was on a booking and he'd made a foul and one more and he's off, so I've, I've, got, I've got to protect him and, and take him off. You know, he... He offers a lot going forward when when he wants to. I was telling him first half to get higher and be braver, and, and he done it in the second half. And he, it was a fantastic strike and put us one nil up. And you've just got to get for a spell then for five ten minutes and just just set yourself back into a game of one nil up where you can see a game out hopefully. And we can see the horrendous goal. There's no one around the lad. He's, he's seven eight yards out, whatever he is, and there's no one around him. He's, he's had a header. He's had a tap in. The second goal straight after a drinks break. I said to the lads, look, if we can't win the game, then let's at least take it to Tuesday. Just don't lose the game and we'll draw. Literally the next phase after a drinks break, Froming's come in. It's a shocking clearance from us. And to be fair to the lad, he scored over a kick. It's a, an unbelievable finish. But again, it's come from our mistake where we haven't cleared the ball properly. It's just gone straight in the air. And the lads scored that. And then the third goal, we're chasing the game. We're trying to get a goal. And again, we, we, we've got bodies back to defend here. And the lads got a, a, a header from... Six, seven yards out again that, that no one's around him. So, you know, we, we, we're, not, we're not commanding enough. We're having to yeah, no, that's responsibility that's between the boys to, to deal with that. And, oh. and fair play to them, you know, they've come with a game plan and, and it's worked. So, good luck to them going forward. And it was uh, almost that, that Achilles heel of the balls into the box again that we spoke about quite a lot last year. And uh, it was the, the downfall again today. Yeah, balls into the box. We haven't, we haven't dealt with all three goals have come from a cross. First one's a cross for Eda, second one's a throw in. Again, we've cleared the ball, and the third one's a cross and a free header. So, just feel like we've gone back four or five months and we're dealing with about exactly the same things as last year with a, a different squad. So, yeah, I've got to sort that out, and I'm, I'm going to work damn hard to make sure I do sort that out because I'm not, I'm not accepting what I've seen today. I thought we were okay, but we're, we're still in the cuts, and I've got to work hard to, to try and bring more in, and, and that's exactly what I'll do. And then, as you mentioned, quick turnaround for, for Tuesday in the start of the league season uh, away at Dudley Town. Um, expectations for that and a, a difficult t turnaround within 48 hours as well. Yeah, tough. It's They'll, they'll be up there, Dudley. They're, they're a good side. Uh, drew 2-2 with Ashby yesterday and they're, they're a good side, so they'll definitely be a team who's up there. Um, yeah, it's a quick turnaround. It's a, it's a really hot day as well and, you know, it's going to take a lot out of the boys today. So we'll, we'll have to think carefully on squad-wise and, and rotation because we're going to have to do it. From today, we, we can't go Sunday, Tuesday. And to be fair, they haven't done enough to justify staying in the team anyway. So we will have to change it up and, and that's what we'll do. And we'll go and try and get a result.